Hey Mermeko team, you know, sometimes a lifelong passion starts with one unforgettable moment. For Ingo Arndt, it happened when he was just a kid wandering through a forest in Germany. He came across this massive ant mound, not just impressive in size, but unforgettable because of a sharp, sour smell like vinegar. That smell stuck with him for years. What he didn't know then was that he just had his first encounter with formic acid, the secret weapon of redwood ants. Years later, Ingo became a wildlife photographer and returned to those same forests, this time with a camera and a deep curiosity. He started photographing redwood ants from the genus Formica, and as he shared his photos with scientists, he uncovered something incredible. These ants build the largest above-ground ant nests in the world. No joke. Some of their colonies can house up to 16 million individuals. That's basically an insect city, built without blueprints, electricity, or planning permits. Just pure collective intelligence. Their nests have two parts, one underground and one above the surface, made from forest materials like pine needles and branches. And they're not just cozy shelters. These nests breathe. They regulate temperature and humidity. They're alive in their own way. But what really makes these ants extraordinary is that same formic acid Ingo smelled as a kid. It's not just a weapon, it's a multi-purpose tool. They mix it with tree resin to make a super effective natural disinfectant that protects the nest from fungi and bacteria. It's like their own ancient hand sanitizer. And they also use it as a pesticide to repel harmful insects, like wood boring beetles that damage trees. And when they do that, they end up protecting aphids, the little insects they farm for sweet honeydew, which is basically their main food source. They stroke them gently to collect drops of this sugary liquid. It's farming on six legs. And here's the wildest part. Some birds, like the Eurasian jay, actually let themselves get sprayed with formic acid by these ants on purpose. It's a natural parasite treatment, and Ingo caught this on camera. But it gets even better. These ant nests are like miniature ecosystems. They're not just home to ants, but also to mites, beetles, flies, even creatures that are rarely found anywhere else. These guests mimic the chemical scent of the colony so they can live among the ants without getting detected. It's like olfactory camouflage. And in just one mound, you can find over 12 different species all living together, unnoticed. That's why scientists now see redwood ants as a keystone species, like elephants in the savanna or sharks in the ocean. They hold their entire ecosystem together. But here's the thing, they're under threat. Deforestation, urban sprawl, climate change, all of it is putting their habitats at risk. In some countries, they're finally protected by law, but it's only the beginning. Because these ants, the ones we often ignore as we walk by, are actually engineers, chemists, farmers, and forest doctors. They shape their environment in ways we're only just beginning to understand. So next time you see a pile of pine needles in the woods, stop and look closer. You might just be witnessing one of the most advanced societies on Earth, hard at work, right under your feet.